Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video I am going to show you guys how to set up Raspberry Pi without a monitor. So many people are looking for a way to set up Raspberry Pi without a monitor. Maybe you want to save some space or avoid sealing out on even more peripherals or you are just stubborn about doing things how you want. I will walk you through the whole thing step by step. So without wasting much more of your time, let's get started. So at first you need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager software from Raspberry website. So simply you need to open your browser and you just need to search on Google Raspberry Pi and after that go to raspberrypi.com website and after that click on software and, and there you will get one option called download for Windows. After that click on that link. After download, you need to install that image or software on your computer. So here on this window, first you need to click on choose device. After that, you have to select your device from here. So I have Raspberry Pi 4. So I'll select from here Raspberry Pi 4. And the second option is choose ways. So I'll select here Raspberry Pi Way 64 bit. You can select 32 bit as per your choice. And after that, click on choose storage. I will select here my micro SD card which is 31 GB near about. If you download the operating system using Raspberry Pi Imager, it may take a little longer. To save the time, you can download the image file directly from the Raspberry Pi website. For that simply you need to go to that Raspberry Pi website, if you scroll down you will see see all download option and here you will get 32 bit desktop version and 64 bit desktop version. So here it is as you can see, so simply you need to click on uh, the download button over here. So after download simply you need to uh, select the last option which is use a custom and after that select that uh, download file. After that you just need to click on next and here you just need to click on edit settings. Click on edit settings and here I will click on configure wireless LAN. First I will configure the wireless LAN. So I'll check that option and after that I will type my SSD means Wi-Fi name and password. And after that click on uh, uh, set local settings to set the time zone and keyboard layout. And after select I will set the username and password for my uh, the Raspberry Pi login. Make sure you have noted down that user ID and password on your notepad. On services, make sure that you have enabled SSH and choose the first option which is use password authentication. Now under option, I will check that option which is play sound when finished and click on save. After that yes. After creating a bootable micro SD card, insert it into a Raspberry Pi. Then connect the Type-C power cable and wait for the device to power on properly. And now you need to log in into your Routers login page and go to the network status section to check your new Raspberry Pi device. If you are not using a router, I have created a separate video on this topic, how to check IP addresses on your network. You can find the link on my video description. In my case, the IP address is 192.168.0.121. And now on your Windows computer, you just need to open Microsoft Store and download Real VNC Viewer. Also, you need to download Putty from your Microsoft Store. Now you need to open Putty on your computer, which I have downloaded and after that type the Raspberry Pi IP address and click on OK. After that put your login name which you have already created in my case it is Tappan and 123. Now you just need to put one command over here which I'll give you on my video description which is sudo space raspberry pi raspi minus config and after that press enter from your keyboard. 
Now go to that third option interface options and after that go to the third option VNC and select here yes to enable VNC server. After installation is done, you just need to select finish and press enter. Now you need to open real VNC viewer on your computer and put the IP address of your Raspberry Pi server and press enter. Now you have to put your username and password over here and click on OK. And as you can see it is connected successfully. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.